My name's Malia, I'm 20 years old, and I've been cheering for nine years. I started cheering in Cheer Force in Simi Valley when I was like five to six and it was on Snow Ed 2014-2015. I was on Reckless two seasons ago. Um, I really loved it, but I left because a lot of my friends were in NorCal and my boyfriend was in NorCal. My name's Andrew, I'm 20 years old and I've been cheering for 15 years. I cheered for 10 years on a team called Riptide and then I've been cheering for five years with Cali and now I'm on Reckless. Malia is one of the most beautiful flyers you'll ever see in the air. Unfortunately for her, um, she was one of the bigger flyers when she was on small so we had to retrain her and, and make her a base. She had one year with Reckless, naturally I put her back in the air. I kind of just wanted like a year to be away from home and like find myself and just have a new experience. It was only just supposed to be like a one year thing that my parents agreed on, so I'm back now. I was on Ghost Recon. And uh, more or less there was an opportunity for me to coach down here at the Camarillo gym and I just couldn't bring myself to leave her. In 2014, we had actually met at a competition in Atlanta, Georgia, the Champions League competition, but we didn't really like think anything of it. Yeah, it wasn't until the next year at Palm Springs, though, that we actually kind of clicked together. I went to prom with her, <laughs> skipped my prom to go with her. When we first started dating, he was living in NorCal and I was living in SoCal. I can't even count like the amount of times that we have both driven like back and forth to each other's Four houses. Four five hour drives, depending on where we were. It was hectic. Yeah, crazy. it was crazy. But it was worth it because we got really close and that's why this year we were like, there's no way that we could go back to like our old lives. So. Jared is my boyfriend and we've been dating for like four months. He goes to my school and he's a senior and he's super nice and he's just like a redneck country boy that lives in Southern California and it doesn't make any sense but it's okay. I'm Jared, I'm 18 and I'm Maddie's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Met at after the big rivalry game between Boyne and Ventura. Well, we just kind of instantly hit it off. I accidentally hit her. And she socked me, and then we started play fighting some. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Love is in the air. Jesus. She had never been kissed until this year. She had never had a boyfriend until this year. And now she has a boyfriend, so our little girl is growing up. It's snowed for the day. No, I want to be on this team. No, you can't wear maroon. Chicago Bulls. We can't wear maroon. Red and black. No, branded. It, it's red. You don't get to. It's really weird to see her with a boyfriend, because it's always been Maddie, Maddie from Smoed, who's just kind of committed to Smoed. Smoed is her boyfriend. And now she has Jared, so she's kind of cheating on us a little bit. I've just grown up as a gym rat, and I was always running around here and had absolutely no other life. Nobody really thought that like I would ever have a boyfriend or would ever have a life. And so Eddie and Orby and Andrea, they always joke around about it, how like Jared was like sent from the gods because not only like is he my first boyfriend, but he literally comes to every single one of my practices and he comes to every local competition. Starting to learn everything. You're like the tumbling and the pods and all that doubles and all those things. It's nice that I like always have somebody to talk to and I always have somebody that will like listen to all of my problems even if they're like really stupid. I have to go into practice. All right, all right have bye. fun. Kick ass. All right. Maddie is, she's a sweetheart. Honestly, she's beautiful. She really makes me happy. Can't really say much else about her. <laughs> Michael, Angel thinks you're cute. That's Angel right there. Yeah, she says that you're the cutest Mexican guy she's ever seen. I don't know. And arms up, reach. To your toes to the clock, over. Oh, there's a little bit of romance brewing in Cowboy All-Stars today. I got her number if you want it. Michael, you look red. You're right. 
You're so rad. Are you okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think he's embarrassed. Mike, Angel says, open your shoulders and drive your hips a little bit more. She wants to know if you need a spot. Grab your chest down. Let's go. Angel, you should go. Give him a hug. Just be like, hi. Angel, you're flexing. Michael, stop smiling. You're so embarrassing. Angel, he's smiling. Angel, he's right there. Throw something at him so he can notice you. Throw a piece of your hair. M I S S I S S. Get these mountains down. I P P P P. I 1000. I'm Jade Obalos, I'm 17 years old, and I was on the team last season and kind of half of the season before that, but I got hurt. <laughs> I was planning on maybe coming back, and but I, can't, I couldn't because I got hurt and had surgery in May and all that, so. <laughs> I came to visit um, my boyfriend Enrique, where you celebrate our um, one year anniversary, so that's why. I um, surprised him on Wednesday. Go tumble. I can't tumble. Uh, I did a cartwheel, actually. I can't. I don't know. I can do it. Oh, if I can do it, you can do it. Oh, on one knee? I can do it. I don't want to. The doctor told me that I had pulled a ligament in my foot, so I'm only out for two weeks if I stay off of it. Jayla, she came down and surprised me, and you know, that really made my day after figuring out that I hurt myself. Cutting? She and I do it when we went to Walmart, Target. Neither did you. You smell like I'm not joking. It's only me. It was bad. Why are you guys going to Walmart as your date? Because we were getting cookies. Yeah. I like Jade just because, you know, she has a very open personality and it really just showed me like the great person she is and that's what made me really like her. Well, yeah, we did meet on the team, but like, I don't know, we just kind of started like talking, I guess. <laughs> and then it, he just became like a really, like, really good friend and like, more than that. <laughs> I decided that I liked her and then she liked me back and I was like wow that's pretty cool and then you know from there we sort of just kept talking and I asked her out. So last year we were dating but I kind of kept it like out of practice because like I, just, I didn't want it to like really affect anything. Like, we just kept it low for now and like after Worlds like we're like whatever like I'm not gonna be on the team. You never wear your event. You never wear your event. That's always incredible. Oh my God. Jade lives in Hawaii and you know, I know she would love to be here if she could. Unfortunately, she had surgery. The recovery is going really good and the therapists are really impressed of where I'm at right now. So that's really good. You know, while she recovers and while I do this, we're just gonna keep trying it. And so far it's been going really well. I'm really excited to have her here at practice, not only just like, you know, to help me push through it, but also because she can help others. She knows what it's like to go through the season with this team. So her being here not only benefits me, but it benefits the others around her too. I wasn't like supposed to come back this year. So I tore my ACL in 2015, I think. And then I was out for that season. Then I came back last year. And then last year of January, I tore my ACL again. So it was it was a bummer. I really thought I was going to be done with all search here. Well, I was here visiting Enrique. And I was like, oh, like maybe like, because I heard that they, they lost a lot of people. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll like ask him. And then um, they were talking about it. And like 10 minutes later, he was like, so like a spot opened up for you, and I was like, oh wow, okay, like that's that's a lot, yeah. <laughs> so um, me and Enrique did long distance for like a couple months. It was hard, but like we we still like got through it. And so now that I'm here, it's like much easier. Like I don't get, I don't know, I'm not that moody anymore. <laughs> because of the time difference, like she would be talking to me when I'd be getting home from practice, and I'd try to talk to her when she'd get off of work and school. But her being back, it's made a lot. It's made things a lot more easy. We're able to hang out more. We're able to talk more, and everything's just been uh, smoother since she got back. It is kind of sad that I'm not on the same team. Like every competition, he's like, I, w I wish I w I'm always like walking on the mat with you. And I'm just like, I know. But then, like, it is better because like I get to talk about my practices and he gets to talk about his practices. Like, we have more to talk about now. <laughs> Having her on a different team, I think, is good because, you know, if we got into an argument that day, like, if we were on a team, I'd be like, don't talk to me. But you know, now that she's on another team, like if we if we have an argument before practice, we can just like let it go because she goes with her team, I go with mine, and we just pull off. And then obviously, when they go full out, I cheer her on.
My name is Lauren Kavisky. I'm 21 years old, and I used to be on Smoed through 2015. So um, I'm in college now, but I'm back home for break, and I live down the street from the gym, and of course I have to visit my people, so that's why I'm here. I love being back here, especially because Reckless has people um, that I've cheered with before. So I'm actually, you know, seeing my friends practice, which is nice. It's good to be back here to see everybody still active and, you know, still in cheer. It's weird to see Joey on a team. Everyone's favorite episode to watch of me is Love is in the Air. Every time. I met Lauren in 2011. Ah, I knew this was coming! <laughs> I knew you were gonna ask this. And we were friends first. And then um, when it came like around world's time in 2011, I kind of saw her as more than a friend. And so I started talking to her and um, we found that we really liked each other. If I don't date Joey, I don't think um, there's anyone better that I could date. Personally. They just they like to say, love is in the air, and I'm like, okay. And then kids on my team that I always start coaching, they're like, how's Lauren? I feel like he's disappeared for like years, and now he's back. <laughs> I don't know. Like, hey, okay. <laughs> Me and Lauren, I mean, she, she's away in Michigan at college, and then I was away in Kansas, and we just haven't really connected ever since we were on a team together. And so since then, we see each other around at the gym, obviously. Um, but it's more of just like a cordial hello, and just because we've been so distant from each other for so long. When I look back on it, it's, it, was, it was a fun time. When I graduate, I feel like I'll be dragged back into cheer, but we'll see, hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> there are days that I get really homesick, and having Brandon here is great because it gives me a piece of home to just have with me. I think that Brandon Brooks is very attractive, and Peyton scored, like, he's really, yeah, she got good on that one.